shot. Big cooking with the sauce. Chef Curry with the pot, boy. 360 with the wrist, boy. Hey, who the fuck niggas is? Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> Got some, I mean, not that it really matters, but um, India is now cool with the Bitcoin. Let me I have some other news. Where was this that I wanted to share? Um, Forbes is telling people to buy Bitcoin now, a little late to the party, aren't they? But better late than never. Yeah, Ethereum's crashing, we know that. Um, I didn't get into the status ICO. I just, I don't know. I'm not, you know, I used to be that way. Like when I first got into this, it was like I had to get into every ICO. But now, you know, it's kind of like not a big deal for me to get into the ICO. I mean, I bought into the storage coin, the storage X coin, um, ICO and I still have not gotten my coins I've still not gotten my coins like the amount of money I've invested in this thing and how long it's been fucking tied up yeah I bought them at 50 cents but I mean fuck sakes like they've had my money for like a month now or so that's a long fucking time um that's not you know I, I really hope to do more than double my fucking money in one month so I'm just kind of agitated i not i don't think that, you know I, I know they're not gonna fuck me over it's nothing like that i just don't know what's taking them so damn long it's crazy i mean i don't know it's weird but yeah i i do have some storage coins i just want them to send them to me but that's the thing like that's another thing like i'm just tired of these icos because i'm like waiting Good lord like the yo-yo yeah that was a good investment but man i'm still waiting with my you know i'm still holding my coins and with the, uh, so the reason I really like the crypto ping ICO, which is about to be over a few days, you can find a link in the description, um, is the fact that it basically is already a done deal. It's not, they're not, you know, you're not, I, I don't, you're not going to have, you're not going to have, um, let me just go to the countdown anyway. You're not going to have to wait a long time because like when I invested in Yo-Yo, they didn't have anything made. They didn't have the website up. They didn't have nothing. So, you know, I have to wait for that. And the same thing when I invest in Zapple, they, you know, it was just an idea. Um, and now it's all coming along nicely and looking great. But, you know, you got to count. You got to keep in mind how long the investment's going to be tied up for. So when I go and um, look at all the... Oh, well... Uh, this could be I don't know what this is this looks cool as shit though what is this guys I just said I'll never invest in the ICO Dan invests and never die all of his money what's happening that was cool right The only problem is with this gaming, man. There's so many gaming coins, and you would naturally think that would be the case because people who make coins probably like video games because they're probably nerds. I'm a nerd, so I'm not hating on nobody. All right, so let's go to buy coins. Let's see. Let's see what's happening. Wow, I mean, they got shit. Oh, wow, what's this What's this guy doing? Is that me? Can I do things to him? It'd be really cool as you got money in this thing. You got, like, cooler shit that you could pick. Welcome to this is the wallet. Wow, that's fancy. I might get lost in this bitch. Is there, like, a boss in the wallet I gotta destroy? This is some crazy shit. What's this? No, they're, they're all coins. What is happening right now? This is pretty cool. Um, buy rock dollars play. What is this? 
Asgard VR. Yeah, I'm going to be getting into this. This is a fucking, this looks cool as shit. Exchange. There's so, man, that's why you always got to be on your feet, man. There's just so much stuff coming around, going on. I mean, it is absolutely amazing, guys, what's happening right now. Holy rock balls. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep that tab up. You already know I'm keeping that tab up. Um, we were on the ICO countdowns, and I was talking about ICOs. Um, so right now, I would say, what was, I'm trying to think of a, I'm trying to think of an ICO I invested in and I, I have money right now from. Let me think. There has to be one. Okay, so this is Apple, the yo-yo. And then I invested in the storage coin. I just jumped on that. I didn't know, you know, I, it, it used to be because there wasn't this website or I didn't know about this website if it did exist. And, um... There wasn't nearly many ICOs. There really wasn't one at all. And kind of underground, right? They were kind of underground. And I just jumped on them. Like, as soon as I saw them, I just jumped on them. And this was way pre, you know, basic attention token. When, And that's what ruined... I think that's what ruined ICOs is the basic attention token. Because then people are like, holy shit. And that's what set a breeding ground for, you know, like scams. And people charging way more for their coin and the ICO sales and all of that stuff because, and they're losing their luster. It used to, you know, it's not as sexy as it used to be. And I'm real <clears throat> civic. So. There's, it's funny, I've, I've saw this thing a million times, but I just never actually looked at it. And then for some weird reason, this moment, it may, it caught my eye. Token so far. So, wow, 863 bit token. Bitcoins. That's not bad. On demand, secure, low cost access to identity verification. Ooh. I like things like that. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a fucking sucker for things like this. I love things that have niches. That's why I invest in Mysterium because it's a VPN on the blockchain, decentralized. So you can borrow VPN, like you, it's a VPN service. You can get, you know, if you know what a VPN is, if you ever need to change your internet um, location, the identity of your internet location, then that's what that's for. It's, it's a very, it's a needed service. People are always going to need it. People are always going to use it. And that's why I invested in it, just because of that. Um, and the fact that it was on a huge dip and it caught one of my lures. So I'll go around and I'll research coins and I'll research them and I'll get into the slacks and I'll talk to the devs and I'll, because first off, first thing is first, you got to make sure it's not a scam coin. That's the first, you know, you got to make sure it is, you know, you're not getting scammed because that's a big deal. People don't realize you can get scammed until you get scammed. So, um, and then you'll never get, then you'll never, then you'll swear to never get scammed again. You think it's not a big fucking deal until you lose a couple Bitcoin, then you're fucking hot, and then you're like me, and you're fucking making videos telling people to watch out for scams because it's not fucking cool when you lose money. And it's very easy. Holy shit, is it easy. There's no laws right now. I mean, we don't know any of these fucking people, so you really got to, you know, I got I get on Skype calls if I can. I've been on Skype calls with a bunch of devs from a bunch of teams, from a bunch of coins, so... <clears throat> And, you know, I, I get a feel, talk to the person. That just really, so it's a human, right? I get a face, because it's FaceTime. You know, I get his name. I get a feel. It's like it's a real human being, right? That's that's important to me, because sometimes, most of the, 99% of the time, if a scammer is trying to scam me, he's not going to show his face in any form, right? You know, I took a screenshot. I got the guy's face. I'll be able to find out who he is. Like, that's, that's what I do with the coin. I want a name. And I want to know if the person's real and that the, the coin thing. Then the next, I want to talk to the person, get a feel how they are, their their energy level, see how, I don't know, people, people, when I do things that other people do, they may not get the same results. I don't know if I have a magic power, whatever it is, like I get a lot of information when I talk to somebody. I don't think the average human, now that I've been seeing a lot more humans lately, I don't think the average human gets as much information as I do by a long shot. I can talk to somebody. So, oh, if I can shake a hand and look a person in the eye, I can tell a lot about somebody. I can feel the energy. I can't tell you how I can. It's not a fuck. I can't tell you. It's just a part of who I am. I just know. It's like I have an x-ray vision for bullshit. I just do. Um, believe it or not, I don't give a fuck. I'm not trying to 
prove anything. I'm just telling you how I get my information. So when I talk to somebody on a, a face-to-face Skype chat, I get a lot of information out of that for out of that 10-minute talk. You'll be surprised. I got trigger questions. I got all kinds of mo. I got all kinds of ways to extract all the information I could ever want. And 99% of the time, find out if they're fucking bullshit or not. So when I get on a Skype group with you, like call with you, I'm fucking, it's like a military call. Like I'm on, I'm on that shit. So, you know, I feel really good if I can get on the call, then it's like, okay, they're showing their face. That's 99% eliminated. You know, it's a 1% chance now it could be a scam. Now I'm talking to him on the phone. I got a good vibe. The guy has good energy. I have a real good feeling about where this is going. That's another 99% of that 1%. So we're talking about 0.0001%. And, you know, that's the, at, at that point, it's like, all right, I can live with that. But the fact is, do your research. Always try to get Skype calls or, you know, I know I know, 99% of you aren't going to do the Skype call thing because it's too much work. Whatever, right? At least get an email address. At least get in the fucking Slack group, right? Because, you know, that that's going to tell you a lot about the community. Um, but yeah, um, I was, what was I saying? I was saying I really like these type of things because they're little niches. They're just little niche things that uh, other people, you know, they don't have much competition. They're kind of like... I think of the blockchain, it's kind of like, um, it revolutionizes a lot of industries. And I look for the industries that it's going to revolutionize the most. And what is that? Those are information-based industries. Like the, uh, that's why I got into the uh, PTYO coin because of, you know, it, it, it takes patient data. It makes it easily accessible. This is why um, I liked um, Factum because it made auditing very easy all down the blockchain anything that has to do like this identity verification anything that has to do with information and they put it on the blockchain that means that means the inf- information is a accountable neatly organized and much easier to send back and forth and collect and all of that it just makes it a million times easier so i love investing in things like this because i i they're just they're home runs they're just fucking home runs and yeah so that's what i look for um So yeah, I didn't get really into the status ICO. Um, I mean, if I do get an ICO, it might be something like this. I don't know. I, I haven't. Hey, I haven't done enough research. So if y'all go, like, I try to avoid um, getting overly excited when I see something before I do the research because these never die. I could fucking never give you your money back. So I, you know, I haven't done anything. So I'm gonna try to, you know, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do more work. I'm gonna do more work. Um. Football coin. I'm always looking at what's trying to fuck with no limit coin. There is one. Alright, what is it for? B sports betting. B sports betting. What is it? Collectible cards? What's, I don't know. What the fuck does it do? Backed up by the most popular sport in the world? So it's backed? By soccer? No. What? Right? Isn't that what that means? Football's announcing its initial coin offering for us. SD coin, the first cryptocurrency backed up by the most. <sighs> oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. This is crazy. All right. In game transactions. I'm not sure. Stadium cards, player cards, in-game transactions. What game? All right. Well, it's not fancy sports. We know that this isn't fancy sports. So that's cool. <clears throat> as long as no limit coin remains the only fancy sports coin, then we have a huge edge. Um, all right. Well, I want to look at the market anyway a little bit more. See a coin. Um, I mean, this is see a coin. That should tell you, like, I've had Sia coin for how long? 
All right, I'm gonna get on like a little mini rant now, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm thinking with all these questions. All right, so. You know, I give some, you know, I, I, first of all, I don't, don't ask me for advice because I don't give advice. I don't give advice. This is what I'm doing. I'm just recording what I'm doing more so for myself than anything. So I can go back and look at all my I told you so videos because I like doing that. Um, so really, I kind of have blinders on. I kind of have tunnel vision. Like, you know, I can't, you know, I'm not giving advice. You get, you can watch my videos. You can join the Slack. Um. The No Limit Slack has really become like kind of like a, a little home for me because uh, I created that group. It was kind of like the first time I've ever done that with a coin when it came to just kind of like going all out like that. And uh, I just think that, yeah, I'm just probably going to always be up in the No Limit Coin group, whether I hold the coin or not. Um, right now, I'm always obviously a, a large holder of it because... Um, I'm not stupid. There's just so much going on in the behind the scenes because, you know, I'm right there in the middle of it. So I know everything that's going on. And um, if I was going to sell my coin, it would 100% be <laughs> at least after the football is released. And uh, <clears throat> the coin's probably at least going to be 10 cents by, you know, at least 5 cents by then, I believe. But, um, you know, it's like. Hey, don't, you know, when I get questions about like, hey, what, to do, what do I do, with, what, what I do with that no limit coin? Or it's like, what do I do with that SIA coin? Or what do I do with that basic attention token? What do I do with the bat token? <clears throat> I mean, it's kind of like, I don't know. I never had to ask those questions. So like, I think you're at a disadvantage when you ask those type of questions. I'm just being real. And a lot of people are probably going to get butt hurt. Um, that's fine. It's whatever. Like, I don't ask those questions. I just, I'm not asking questions. You understand? Like, there's only so much time. You got to act so quickly in this life. You can't just always be asking questions. You got to look for yourself. You got to do your own motherfucking math. When should you hold no limit coin? I don't know. The motherfucker just rose 3,000, 4,000%, right? Y'all ain't happy with that. The fact is, it was a penny coin. It was worth nothing. It was worth 17 Satoshi. It was worth nothing. It was worth, it was so far from a penny. You can't see a penny. It's been stable over a penny. Reached over two pennies. It it doesn't even have anything yet. Like the NFL hasn't launched yet. That's what's gonna rival everything. So there's so much, so much going on behind the scenes. There's so much to talk about with another coin. But it's kind of like that's just going on. Like there's a lot going on behind the scenes of fucking basic attention token. A lot. You know I'm not as uh intimate with basic attention tokens you know i'm not cool chilling with the devs talking talking with the devs over skype with them because you know i don't know them i was i wasn't given the opportunity to but um so i just know more about no limit coin it's just that simple i'm cool with the owners and the devs like i know everything behind the scenes of no limit coin i read the fucking lawyer emails like i i know everything about the coin behind the scenes so um that gives me a huge edge plus I, i'm a large stakeholder of the coin so it's fucking kind of like, I don't know. I'm just fucking holding, and it's not that big of a deal. And I'm just investing. I'm 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 doing my thing. I'm doing my thing every day. I'm fucking reinvesting in new coins, doing my coin research. This is the heart blood of the world right now. These these coins are the new internet, the new way society is going to work, the new way we're going to communicate, new more the new way we're going to store and send data, the new the new way we're going to um, socialize. The new way we're gonna browse the internet. I mean, these aren't people. People talking about somebody. Somebody talking about coin chasing. It's kind of like I don't understand what that even means. What the fuck is coin? Like that's just, that's the problem with a lot of you. If you're talking about coin chasing and worrying about coin hoppers, it's like I don't even know what that means. First of all, I don't chase coins. I catch coins. I set out lures. All right. I like uh, Mysterium. I like Mysterium. Right. A lot of people talk about Mysterium. It's a new coin. Oh, Danny's coin hopping. He's jumping on the Mysterium train because everybody else is. It's kind of like, nah, I'm not. It's not. It has nothing to do. And it fell. It fell some more right there, right? I, I, I already know. I bought up a ton of this. I got a lot of Mysterium now because it done hit all most of my lures. Um, but yeah, the point is, it's so cheap right now, and it has a utility. 
That's the reason I bought it. I'm not saying it's going to be a home run. I'm saying that it's a it's a good addition to my portfolio. And as much as I know I can be right, I can think I'm 99% right on a coin. But you can always be wrong. So as far as you can diversify, and this is a new thing. It's a new coin. It's already got a million, um, 50, half a million. Like, there's not that many of them. Um, I mean, I'm fucking holding on to this coin. Fuck off. I don't care. It's like there's 32 million of them. It has a fucking utility. Um, VPN is always going to be needed. And it's really good to put it on the blockchain because right now it's fucking clutter fucked. If you try to go get an online VPN and all that, like it's not that easy. I mean, it is, but it isn't. It's clunky. Everyone knows it could be upgraded. And booyah, it has been. And um, I mean, th anything to do with medical, I've been waiting, right? Because uh, holler at uh, the commenters. The commenters were telling me to um, invest in this. So I definitely gave it a look. <clears throat> and I had a lure set. And then I had removed the lure. Um, fucking around, I guess it was, I think it was during that Bitcoin weird thing when Bitcoin went down and everyone's freaking out a few, like three days ago or whatever the fuck, or a week ago. Um, so I had removed it and then I, I was just looking around and I was like, holy shit, it is so cheap right now. And so I bought some. When did I buy it? I bought it. I hit my lure yesterday. I set my lure the I set my lure up in here, right? So it was like a few days ago, and then it hit my lure right in here. And now I hit my lure. Probably hit my lure again, or is going to. That's kind of weird. It looks like blood. I know that's probably what it's maybe supposed to represent, but um, Safex is fucking booming. I was getting a. I knew it hit some, no, I didn't hit any of my lures, but it's fucking, you know, it was up a uh, 50% at one point. See, so that's nice. I have a guap of safe X. Um, I have a guap a lot of these coins. Like I never, I didn't sell my Sia coin. I've had Sia coin forever. I have my nest egg. I'm going to always do it. What I love about Sia coin is you can day trade the hell out of it. It's so good to day trade. Um, I just have to rebuy back in. That's all. You get shake out, and then you have to just f find new markers. And that's all that's been. But um, as you can see, C coin has just basically been like you know, droom, 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 right? Just nice investment. That's what I like to fucking see when I put money in. And it's a penny coin, so yeah, that's why I, I'm a big fan of penny coin. I'm a big fan of penny coins that don't have a, a that have a floor. Sia coin has a floor no matter what. It's not going to get cheaper than a penny. It's a capped coin. It just is not going to get cheaper than a penny. Um, everyone's talking about ant shares. I know. I think it might be a good bet, but I mean, well, I know it's a good bet, especially because there's not that many. Um, I just think that. I mean, obviously, in the $9 range, for those type of coins. Um, I really have to see. I don't know. I'm just, uh, I mean, I just try to get away from things like that. Platforms. I like things like this. I don't know if like I don't know enough about this. I'm not saying I'm gonna invest in this. The coin could be fucking uncapped and raise interest a thousand percent and the guy could be, you know, a freaking serial killer. We don't I don't know anything about this coin. I just found it and it has a cool ass fucking wallet. It has the most ballin' ass wallet I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know. This is me, I think. I think this is me. I think they made me a virtual character. And and I'm I'm a sucker for this stuff. So, you know, as long as the guy's not a serial killer and it's not an uncapped coin, I'll probably invest a little bit of money into this because it's fucking awesome. Um, that's what I'm looking at. Like, when I'm looking for coins, I need something with 
niche utility niche utility i don't need something that's like come build things on me or uh you know makes it easier to do smart contracts like i just think that there's going to be a lot of that shit a lot of those kind of platforms out there a lot of them and they're all competing um the the one thing i really like about investing in coins that have niche utility and that are either a unique or b have um intrinsic value meaning the auction that i talk to you talk to you about i walk into uh, an auction and someone's selling me a car sorry for the listeners subscribers who've heard this story three or four or five times but you know there's new people that watch the show um if you walk into an auction you see a car you know everything about cars you know what everything's worth right and the auction's going you know Five hundred, five hundred, four hundred, six hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, seven hundred, and you keep putting your bets on because you inspected the car beforehand. They give you a little time to look at the car, and you realize, hmm, as long as this car, this car has about three thousand dollars in parts. If I was to scrap it, sell the engine, sell the seat, sell everything in the car, the wheels, the axles, everything, scrap everything, it'd be about three thousand dollars in parts. So as you're in your auction, right? You're hitting 700, 800, you know, and then you get it for 900 and people might bow out of the auction because they may not have known as much as you know about cars. So that's what gives me an edge. I can see value just as if these coins are all cars and I'm a fucking expert at cars and knowing the value of them. So I can walk into to these quote unquote auctions i can walk into um these exchanges see what the coin's going for and know if i'm getting a good price or not by its intrinsic value so obviously when everyone's like oh wow he overpaid he paid 900 for that hunk of junk you're thinking man i just fucking came up 3x my money on the floor but that's nothing because guess what i give it a paint job i fix it up i put a little bit of money into it a little bit of effort a little bit of elbow grease and this car is going to go from 3000 to 15000 and what it's a limited edition like you're finding all kinds of new shit about it and before you know it you got like a $50,000 car something from 900 and that's what i do with these coins and that's exactly how i look at them and when i look at seal coin i'm walking into the auction and i'm like man this is a fucking 10 cent coin like this is a 10 cent coin so anything under 10 cents i'm just going to keep scooping it up and that's what i do i always scoop up seal coins i always have a lure for seal coin always it's not necessarily on bitrix it's usually on the other exchanges because i get i just get better deals from those exchanges and that adds up big time when you're buying larger amounts so you know if um like for instance see a coin when it had that bad crash everyone had you know the whole altcoin had a bad crash when see a coin was about 500 that's dirt cheap oh it's so cheap but guess what i was getting it for like 415 420 430 440 it wasn't super large amounts but towards the closer i got to 500 the larger the amounts became and that adds up a lot if you do that all the time so I was able to get Sia coin at really, really good deals. And another thing, like, I don't know. I'm not trying to, uh, how am I going to put this? So I'm, I'm, I'm showing, I'm, I'm showing my, what I'm doing, right? I can't slow down for anyone. Like what I'm doing when I get, when I set my lures, I might've gotten to see a coin at 415, put up a video, like, boom, I got see a coin at 415. I got it super cheap. Yada, yada. And then somebody jumps in and gets it at 600 because they just saw the video and they want to get a see a coin. Like, um, I don't know, like you're going to be able like my moves, obviously, you know, if you follow them, you'd always have made money. But the point is like, I'm getting, I'm getting remarkable deals because I'm putting an effort to get remarkable deals. I'm setting the lures. Um, setting lures may sound, oh, that's easy. Well, motherfucker, how, many, how much Bitcoin do you have to set lures on 15 different coins on seven different websites? How much, Bit how much money do you have to set aside that to not, you know, not to fuck with, to put on lures? Some of the lures don't ever, don't ever hit. You have money tied up for fucking a week. Tens of thousands of dollars tied up for a week. Not one lure hit. The fuck? It ain't easy. This is fucking work I'm putting out there. And it's not just work. I'm tying up money and it's work. So, you know, I'm, I'm out there putting these lures out. That's business. That's like, that's what you need to master. If you want to fucking know what to do, you find a coin you like. And then you set lures. That's just what it is. That's the game. Like, I, 
Once I find a coin I really like, there's a lure attached to it, always. Every time I wake up, I see a dip, I'm happy. I can say, oh, I hit one of my lures. That's what I say. And if it spikes way up, I'm like, oh man, it got, you know, I, uh, I sold my first batch. I sold my first 10%. Um, that's just nice. It's how, it's how I, how it works. It's how I expand my money. Lures. It's not like this hectic day trading. Like, oh, it's went up two points. Sell now. Oh, sell now. Like I'm not making 20,000 trades a day. You know, I'm setting lures. It's all automatic in the background. That frees up all my time to go around and find new coins that I can fucking invest time in and make a difference. Like I did with no limit coin. So um so look um so yeah so bitcoin so i mean we got to keep in mind where we were i mean we gotta we got i should have i should have and i should have started this song with be humble because um if we look this is the 18th it's three days ago it's three days ago we weren't even at 100 we peaked way up here and of course what happens what happens? The people who bought it way down here dump it right here because they they just wanted to make a quick penny, or they're maybe smart and knew that it was going to dip and bought some more, and that's what happened with this resistance right here. And I mean that's just natural trading. It dipped right here. The people all bought it back up, and they're just that's just the people you know. And then now people are like, if it's not shiny anymore, people start to freak out, and then you're going to start to see it pick up again. It's going to have another boom. Um, it's, it's, you know, leading up to the NFL, it's so, it's so funny because it's going to be kind of like it was down here. Like imagine up here, right here is this, right? Is this right here? And this is what's going on right here. You can see the, the movement and you can see what's going on right here. And right before NFL happens, this is going to happen. And the people who sold from the, for right here, the fucking same people who sold from down here are going to buy it back up here because they don't they feel you know, the FOMO, the fear of missing out because NFL, and they know once the NFL comes out, it's going to be another plateau. That's not going to be, you know, it's just going to be another plateau. It's going to be another rise. You know, it's, it's going to be five cents. And once they release all of the games, they're having a, new, a, a so many, so many new features being added. It's amazing. I will release them as they are finished. And, so much good business, but like I said, um, I, I, just like with all of my coins, how many people, how many people, people still message me, man, because people still watch my older videos. And I was like, man, you got to see a coin that under 0.08. It's like, man, it's like, should I wait for it to go back there? It's like, see a coins never going under a penny again, ever. It's just not sorry. You missed out. You're not getting it for down here again. It's not happening. You know, stop, stop dreaming. You're not getting it from down here. So, um, that's just the way things are. I don't know. Like there's, you know, things I buy have always accumulated value over time. It's that simple. Like, even if, even if you bought safe exchange way back here, when I bought it, I bought it down here actually like a gangster OG and um, sold some up here and then bought a guap down here and I was doing this thing like but it's still higher than when I bought it if you see everything I buy is still higher way higher than when I bought it yeah it may have come I mean that's a perfect example like what's happening with no limit coin like um, although it wasn't this drastic the point is and the, 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 the high was much higher but the point is you can see, like, it's just, and then, and it's going to be funny because the people who sold down in here are going to buy it way up here when the Chile, when the Chile blockchain is released, which is going to happen soon. Um, you know, I'm pretty intimate with this coin as well. I'm not as intimate, but I know I, I get, you know, I, I'm on it. I'm in the Slack. I'm, I'm emailing. Um, I'm putting in the work, put it that way. And as soon as. As soon as any information on the Chile blockchain is released, I'm going to know about it first, or I'm going to be amongst the first to know about it. And once that's done, once that's launched, this coin is over. This coin is going to be in this, you know, remember, remember when we were at no limit coin and I was, I was making a video. I was like, I don't know. People just don't, I see a number right here. I don't know. People keep telling me they see a zero there. And I was like, but there's a clearly a one right here. And I, I see it right here too. Like, 
I was talking to somebody the other day, and um, they're like, man, that's a good coin. It's almost a penny. I was like, what? What, is, what do you mean almost a penny? He's like, yeah, man, it's a zero right here. I was like, no, it's a one right here. What are you talking about? And, like, we had an argument. Like, there's a one right here. I had to clean my glasses. Like, I had to fucking smudge the screen off. Like, like there's a one right there. Um, so, I don't know. You know, you can comment in the comments. Do you see a zero right here? Because I don't. I see a one right here. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm crazy, but... It seems like more, you know, it seems like people just don't see the one right here for some reason. They see a zero. It's weird. People are weird, you know? Um, hmm. This is not good. This is mo This is not the great. Okay, so I had kind of a rise. Um, I'm going to be keeping a close eye on BitConnect. Right now, I am on the fence. I'm not sure if I would make a loan right now. Um, well, I can't say that. It's tough. I have that market cap. Because keep in mind, this is, I'm thinking 80% not legit. I'm not intimate with this this coin at all. I don't know much about it, and it's hard to find any information, so that's a red flag. Um, it has a lot of money behind it, though. I mean, I'm not an idiot. I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a scam, but I, I can't, obviously, I, I'm not I'm not ignorant, though. I don't just say it is without, um, like, overwhelming, like, proof. I need proof. No proof. I can't just, you know, can't just look like it, but, you know. I'm gonna do some research and definitely I'm gonna whistle blow. The moment I would absolutely never make a investment again, I'm gonna make a whistle blow just to help out people. But I I like, you know, leaving it free because I didn't know you know, nobody could tell me not to invest in it, even though I knew it was a scam or you know, thought it was a scam. Um I still invested in it because I, I figured I'd get my money back before um it ran its course. And, you know, I, I gave it a two year shelf life. I think this is gonna be around for two years. Right, so if you make a loan, you're gonna get that back in eight months. So it's like you know, it's in the clear for a good while because um, the, the there there are people who've shown their faces, they've gone to conferences. So there's people who are gonna to go to jail if this becomes a scam, a Ponzi scheme. People are gonna to go to jail, and if that's the case, I don't think they're just gonna walk away with pennies. They're gonna to try to get like as much as they can because it's like a trillion dollar industry. My girlfriend is about to leave to work. Bye. Tell her have a good day. It's fucking. Don't talk to strangers. Um. So yeah, I think that this is going to be. I, I still think it has a year, a year and a half left, just because of the logic. It's like nobody's gonna fucking put their face out there and walk away with crumbs. Um. You know they haven't made enough. It's not like they made it. You know, I don't. That's that'd be ghetto. Fucking do like a pot, put your face out there, put a Ponzi scheme and then go to jail and only get like a million, a few million bucks or something. Um, because the market cap doesn't mean they own that money. That's fucking what's, you know, that's how much money is in the process right now. But there's people who can just withdraw all their money right now and have um, out, the money they've made. That is meaning like, because I've gotten most of my loan back. And you can switch all that every day. So that's a large portion that they don't have. And then there's people who just hold the BCC, you know, the BCC tokens because they rise in value so much. But I think that's what this is. I think that the BCC tokens have not been rising as rapidly as they are and consistently as they have. So that means that people are starting to stop holding them. So they're trying to sell them. And what's keeping it afloat is all the loans with the money locked up and the new loans. Um, but I'd still invest in it. I'd probably still throw a little bit of money in there. But that's me. I'm a fucking crazy asshole. And I, I, I'll, I'll go into the storm. I'll go into a fire tornado. There's a treasure chest in the middle. I had a good analogy. Okay, so BitConnect is like running into... A burning building to retrieve a Rolex because 
eventually the burning building is going to collapse. And you better not be in the burning building trying to get that Rolex when the building collapses. So it's a nice big fucking building. It's sturdy. It's flame resistant. But it's on fire. I think it's a burning building. But I think there's still plenty of time metaphorically speaking, to get in and out of that house to retrieve that Rolex. But you know, that's playing with fire at the, this is by far the riskiest investment I've ever been in. So I don't, you know, um, to each their own. But I mean, I ain't nobody's grandpapa, but you can't invest in that because it's a Ponzi scheme. That's not who I am. I invest in Ponzi schemes because I'll out Ponzi the, the schemers, right? In a legit way. Beat them at their own game. Um, what is this? What is this I saw this yesterday and I was fucking tired, man. I put in holy Batman balls. What the fuck is that? I don't understand how that happens. Somebody comment, like, I don't know. I still don't understand how this happens. What does this mean? Who does this and why? Who just decides to randomly buy? It's a, is it misclicks? Is that what it is? I think that's possible, right? I think that's the only logical explanation that I could think of. Mm. It's a weird way to send money to somebody. Like, somebody has to get fucked over dramatically for this to happen. There's, it just doesn't make sense. So I think somebody just accidentally... I've seen that happen, though. I've seen that happen. People who accidentally... Um, there's a person who bought a few Bitcoin at the wrong price and it was like this wrong price it was like horrible they were so pissed they were supposed to get like i don't know it was like i think it was like 20 something thousand and they ended up getting like two thousand oh so yeah i guess these are just people who button clickers who really don't know i didn't i have not looked at this though or yeah i think i did but i don't think i really really looked at it Oh yeah, I think I saw all this and closed it because I was like, I have a bias. Imagine having keys here in 1994. That's a red flag. I don't like that. I don't like how there's a phone number there. I don't like how there's the click the email. I think the logo is shitty. I don't like this. I don't know what this means. And then the first thing I see is buy now. If anybody who's been a loyal subscriber to me knows why I won't buy this coin. And it has nothing to do with any of the things I've mentioned right now. Those all don't help it, obviously. But the reason I'd never buy this coin is because I know how to buy it before I know what it is. Period. If that's the case, First of all, that puts it in the scammy department. I'm not saying it's a scam coin, but it just puts it into the shit, shit gray area I don't like. When you go to a website, you gotta know what the fuck it is before you buy it. Like, I don't, I don't understand how, whose, whose strategy is it to, to make you know how to, no one's gonna buy the coin if they don't know what it is. So it doesn't make any sense to tell you how to buy it before you know what it is. And then it just gets confusing because it's just like a, a blog. Is this real? How? How does this have hundreds of thousands of dollars in 24 volt? How is that possible? That doesn't even make sense. There's only a million. Maybe that's why, but they don't even have social media. The fuck? All right. Well. Uh, Oh yeah, today's Wednesday. I'm playing a big poker tournament today, but I'm also, but I'm also. Today is the um, con end of the contest for the No Limit Coin banner ad contest. So we're, you know, No Limit Coin's about to have banner ads all up on here, and we're about to have some ads on other coin sites. We got, you know, there's experts on it, people that know what they're doing with the ads, and that is going to be really cool. For the No Limit Crew, um, that's cool. No Limit Crew, NLC, No Limit Crew. That's what that's what it really is. And the No Limit Crew has really become. It's not even like a. 
it's the coin. I love the coin. The coin is like the community, but it's kind of like, I don't know. We're like, you know, we got like a band of brothers. We all got like millions of coins. And if this thing goes to a dollar, it's going to be cool, right? So it's kind of like the No Limit crew. It's kind of like a cool ass group. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, the banner contest is today. So that's exciting. We're going to see who wins and get in there and vote. There might be other festivities. I'm a festive person, as you can tell. So we will see. Every time I see this coin, I'm like, where are my coins, motherfucker? Where are my coins? It's a mysterium that I haven't got my coins. I'm on the verge of giving you a black coin eye. You're going to be Mona. <laughs> I almost had it. I almost had it. I, I That one video, I went all the way down. I was able to burst my way off the earth into the sky and match pool. Yeah, that one didn't work, but it was pretty cool there for a second. Y'all were almost, almost here. You're like, oh, he, he's on a fucking, he's on a roll, burst earth sky. All right, I'm going to kill it now. This is probably a 40-minute video. Um, yeah, might make some updates today. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna make an update. We're gonna I'm gonna do a video about the whoever wins the banner contest. It's gonna be dope. All right, kill it now. Cheers, peace, adios.